All right, um, chapter 7, tractor trailers and dump trucks. Tractor trailers and dump trucks used to haul the equipment and construction supply material used to support the construction operation, disaster recovery operations, preventive maintenance program, so forth. Chapter covers the basic, best, basic principle of the tractor trailer and dump truck operations. The tractor trailers, thousands of miles tractor trailer operation generally deployment. The operation include hauling, handling equipment construction supply with the National uh, Mobile Navy Mobile Car Construction Battalion, Navy Construction Force tasking. Your operator must remember the tractor trailers are on the open road representing the U.S. Navy and the Seabees to the public. The tractor, technically known as the truck tractor. May have a gasoline diesel engine be equipped with the automatic manual transmission range from CAS as you have five tons through twenty five tons. Some are example of the figure seven one. No, because of the variety of variety of the transmission type of the tractors are used by the Navy Corps construction forces, it's important to use the study operation manual before operating certain model twelve of tractor truck tractor. The operating manuals are located with the technical library. library. Operators errors such as grinding gears while shifting, clutching, slipping, rapid engagement during shifting, improper downsizing, so forth, often cause premature failure with the driveline components, resulting in needless downtime and delays in production. Seven one shows the truck tractors. Um, are your type of uh, trailers? The Navy Construction Force use the variety of the trailers to support the mission of the National Navy. Um, Mobile construction battalion before before using the trailer, how with the safety precaution check the manufacturer recommendation loading requirements waive the restriction. This is important because the operators is responsible for the safe loading and securing operation of the truck truck or trailer. A van trailer figure seven two fully clothed with the permanent to keep the inside of the trailer dry. Manufacture two basic type of the doors, one type is swing uh, swing open, the other is on a roll up. Uh, in some cases, the tractor and tractor trailer might have another door on the side. The Navy construction force, some of the van trailers have been modified to carry the different types of cargo. You may have operated with the refrigerator van trailer with the construction refrigerator jam van trailer, similar to the van except for the self-contained refrigeration unit built into it. The stake trailer is figure 7-3 is identified by the flatbed as designed with the cargo and cannot fit. Figure 5, 2, 7, 2 shows the van trailer. Figure 7, 3 shows the stake trailer. Figure 7, 4 shows the low bed trailer. Figure 5, 7, 5 shows the tilt bed trailer. Alright, the doors of the van trailer, stake trailers, are easily loaded, unloaded forklifts. They have sides of the side six removed. Any loads extend with over the width of the length of the flatbed because of the visually marked on flag during the day and lights at night. Note, slide, sl slide stakes are collateral equipment, equipage for the same stake trailer. The operator is responsible for the side stakes and if they are removed or broken or lost. When the side stakes are removed, the storage ensure the stakes are t st tagged with a U.S. number, a U.S.N. number on the trail of the trailer to ban is lost. In some cases, the stolen stakes should be reportedly immediately through the chain of command. All right, low bed trailer figure seven four is often um, identified with a low boy. The trailer is used with having heavy equipment and material that is overweight. Overweight of the stake trailers, low bed trailers are heavily constructed, handled loads of thirty five tons or more. Or your tilt bed um, trailer seven five is often often identified by the tilt top of the design tilt toward for rear of the easy loading unloading without using the ramps. So the belts are primarily used with the hell of equipment. However, they are used as transport construction materials and supply to avoid damaged equipment and trailers. You should remember the following. Do not attempt to have a load of heavy, heavy equipment on a tilt bed trailer or from a lamp loading ramp or dock. Before loading heavy equipment on a tilt bed trailer, you should ensure the locking mechanism figure 7 and 6 is fully disengaged. Figure 7 shows the tilt bed trailer. Um, show figure uh, 7 shows the tilt bed deck locking mechanism. Um, your primary locking device, lock position, locking lock locking device locked locking device open position secondary locking device open position three when a tilt bed, bed trailer is in tilt position you should en ensure the rear of the bed is resting on the even ground do not play for the heavy loads beyond the deck hinge failure to follow the above rules result in the severe damage to the tilt bed trailer and to the locking mechanism the detachable gooseneck, detachable gooseneck trailer 77 is often identified with a drop neck design for the gooseneck to remove and leave front of the frame resting on the 78. The features allow the equipment to load readily using short ramps and the used hinge and small blocks. Pre-start inspection. The primary of the performing a pre-start inspection is to ensure the truck trailer is safe when performing the pre-start inspection. You should use the same procedure each day time. If you do so, you will likely forget anything of restart inspection aid shown in figure 79. 
Following pre-start inspection can be you with the procedure performing pre-start and all local automotive equipment. All problems should be you with the document and the hard co card. Navy fact 9-11-2-4-0-13. Repair required. Do not operate equipment that has, does not meet the satisfaction safety standards. All safety standards, safety features must be in operational order. May place be made before any place of equipment is used. Figure 7-7 seven, seven shows the detachable gooseneck and also the detachable gooseneck from the trailer. Alright, tractor trailer pre-start inspection. Um, front of the trailer, headlight signal clearance light, front suspension, front wheel, front brake, car area, cab area, start engine, saddle tank, saddle tank area, coupling, rear of the car, rear of the trailer, rear of the tractor wheel, suspension, brakes, rear of the tractor, side of the trailer, side of the trailer, trailer wheels, suspension, brakes, signal brake, clear lights, clearance lights. When you approach the tractor trailer, take it over the general condition. Look for the damage for the um, vehicle is lean on one side. Look under the um, vehicle for fresh oil, coolant, ge grease, fuel leaks. You should check around all around uh, area around the vehicle for people, the objects, the low hanging wires, free tree limbs, which could cause the hazards when the vehicle is moved. Look inside the cabin, sure the parking brakes are engaged. For add safety, site, a set of wheel chocks should be placed around the one, one of the tires. Note in Navy Construction Force, all two ton and above vehicles must have a set, a set of wheel chocks that are used on the vehicle. Parked. Engine compartment. We may have the raised hood and tilt cab. Secure the loose items but they cannot fall. Open the engine compartment door. Check the following engine oil level, the coolant level, the radiator condition of the hose, power suit, and fluid level, the hose condition. If so, equip the windshield wiper fluid, battery fluid level, um, connection, tie down batteries, barriers may be located in separate compartments. Automatic transmission fluid may require check of the engine warming and running. Check the bolts, tent, tightness, excessive wear, alternator, generator, water pump, air compressor, leaks for fuel and coolant, oil, power steering fluid. Fluid, hydraulic fluid, battery fluid, cracked worn electrical wiring, insulation, when and chem checks are completed, you should um, lower the secure hood and they have the engine compartment door. Walk around inspection when you have perform a walk around inspection, turn on the headlights, four way hard, hard, hard hazardous warning, um, parking lights, clearance and side marker identification lights. Clean all the lights and reflectors glass as you along as you go along. Do not forget to check the braking light with the bright return signals. If the light bulb is not working, you, you, the yard boss normally has a spare bar out bulb with the to, to, tools for the all out of you to replace the faulty bulbs. All right, left front one. The left front of the tractor inspect the check of the glass for the driver's door. Ensure it's clean. Check to ensure the door latches and latch, locks work properly. Check the left front with the wheel with the condition wheel rims um, such as missing bent, broken studs, clamps, locks, and any single signs of misalignment. Check for the condition of the tire, proper inflation valve stem cap, the air place zero of the cut the bulges and tread wear. Check for the lugs and the looseness, rust streaks. Check the condition of the spring, spring hanger, shackles, U bolts, and on the left of the on the left front left front suspension. Check the condition of the brake drums, condition brake shoes on the left front brake. On the front, on the front, front, on the front of the tractor, inspect the following condition: front axles, condition, steering system for such things as loose, worn, bent, damaged, missing bolt parts, grabbing with steering mechanism. Check for the looseness. Condition windshield damage, dirt. The condition windshield wiper arms with the proper steering, spring tension condition, wiper blade for the damage, rubber stiffness, secure conditions of the light reflectors such as parking clearance, identification lights. Ensure that they are uh, clean, operating are in their proper color, amber front. Condition of the right turn signal. Um, ensure that the cleaning operating proper color amber white or on the str stringle for facing forward right side on the front of the right front inspect all the items on the left front with the right side inspect the following ensure the primary safety pad blocks are engaged in the cab over design inspect the fuel tank damage leak securing mounting check the fuel crossover line fuel lines in the tank ensure the fuel cap is area are, is are and non secured if the rear inspect the rear of the engine leaks inspect the leak around the transmission ensure exhaust systems is secured not leaking touching wires fuels air airlines inspect the bends cracks in the frame the cross members inspect the line or electrical wiring secure in against snagging rubbing and wearing inspect the spire, spare tire care over the damage inspect the spare tire proper inflation size and spare sure the spare tire is secured in the tire carrier when handle when ha hauling in a load inspecting the following ensure the cover is properly properly blocked and braced and tied and chained so forth ensure the head, header board is required Adequate and secured if equipped. Ensure the side racks if equipped with the free damage are properly safe in place. Ensure uh, and, and are secured. Ensure this canvas and tarp if you are properly secured to prevent tearing or billowing or block, blockage of mirrors. Ensure all record 
Required signs are safely and properly mounted, and all required permits are in the possession of the load oversized. Ensure the curbside cargo door is securely closed and latched, and for so forth. Right rear. When inspecting the right rear of the vehicle, inspect the following. Check the condition of the wheels and rims, mismatch with broken spacer studs and clamps and lugs. Check the condition of the tires, proper inflation valve stems and serious cuts and bolts, and tread wear. Ensure the tires are not rubbing against each other. Nothing in the stock against them, but between them, such as rock, boulders, or mud. Ensure the tires are the same size or not mixed, but that's radial or biased and ensure that the tires are properly inflated. Inspect the wheel bearings see, see for leaks. Check the whole hub oil level if so equipped with the hub oil reservoir leaks. Inspect the suspension system such for the condition of the spring, spring iron shackles and new bolts. Inspect the ensure the axle is secure with no fluid and is leaking from it. Check the addition of torque rod arms, brushing and shock absorbers. Check the addition of the brakes such as the condition of the brake road drums and undo wear hoses. Check the addition of the lights and reflectors. Ensure that the clean and operating and are proper color red at the rear and other amber. The side mark reflector are clean and are proper color red and red, red rear or the rear other lights all right um respect rear when um when inspecting the rear of the vehicle ensure the rear clear lens lights the navigation light tail lights reflectors are clean and operating in the proper color red at the rear ensure that the wall wiring is secured in place ensure the right rear turn signal is clean operational and proper color yellow red yellow or amber at the rear Ensure license plate clean and secure see if it's equipped. Ensure all required splash guards are present and not damaged properly fashioned and not rubbing tires or ground. When hauling devices, um, when hauling a load on the bike, inspect the churn and all the cargo is properly blocked and braced and tied and chained and so forth. Ensure flail tailboards are up, up and properly secured if so equipped. Ensure rear doors are securely closed and latched and locked. Left side, when inspecting the left side, um, you inspect the item segments of the right side, plus the following. Ensure the battery box is not located in the engine compartment and ensure the securely mounted in the vehicle. Ensure the battery box is covered secured. Ensure the batteries are secured. Ensure the batteries are not broken, leaking the fluid level of the batteries at the proper level. Ensure the battery cell caps are present and are securely tightened. Ensure the vents and all caps are free of foreign matter. Car, inspec car inspection, cab inspection. You been um you beginning with the cab inspection. Ensure the brake par 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 brake parking brake is on and the transmission neutral. Park of the automatic. Start the engine. And listen to the unusual noise. Allow the engine to warm up properly. This takes about three to five minutes. Gauges. Look at the gauges. See the oil pressure ammeter, the voltmeter, coolant temperature, engine oil temperature. Of the system can come up with the red norm read normal within the seconds of the engine has turned. Has started um, when the line, lights and buzz and when buzzers are oil coolant and charging system should go on the system. Re register the normal um, controls. Check the condition of following loosening, sticking, damage, and proper settings. Steering wheel, clutch, accelerator, pedal, brake controls such as foot, trailer brake, park, trailer brakes, parking brakes, retarder control, transmission, inner axle, different lock if so, equipped horns, windshield wiper, wa washers. Lights such as headlight, dimmer switch, turn signal, the four-way flashes, clearance, identification markers, mirrors, and windshield. Inspect the mirrors, crack, clear, loosen, obstruction, clues, clear tightening, and adjusting necessary. Emergency equipment, check for the equipment starting is uh, start, such as the safety equipment, such as the following spare electrical fusion, unless the vehicle is, has circuit breakers. Three red for reflective triangles are properly charged, rated fire, similar to the tire changing equipment, obtain collateral uh, equipage, exempt reporting package, brake tests. If your vehicle is equipped with a hydraulic brake, perform the following test. Check with the brake system. Pump the brakes three times, then apply with a firm pressure to the pedal. Then hold them five seconds. The pedal should not move. This does it thereby leak and other problems to the state. Test the parking brake. You should allow the vehicle to forward, move forward slowly, then apply the parking brake. Test the surfacing braking action. You should proceed at about five miles down, then pe pe push the brake pedal firmly, a pulling over the vehicle on one side or on the other. Any delay stopping action is indicating the brake trouble. Any brake problems occurred during this testing must be documented and repa repaired before operating with a piece of equipment. All right, your air brakes. Air brakes, you the compressor and air to bank the work they provide with the safety of the will stop large vehicles can maintain and use correctly. The air brakes are system composed of the three combined braking systems serve the braking system, braking system emergency, braking system service, brake system applies release for the brakes, brake pedal during the normal driving, the brake pedal, um, parking brake system apply the release on the parking brakes when you're parking brake control, the emergency brake system, you the power of the service, parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of the braking system failure. Note the components for the air brake system are recovered in Chapter 3, Brake Drums, Shoes, and Linings. Brake drums are located on each side of the axle. The brakes are bolted with the drum. The braking mechanism is located inside the drum. The braking shoe with linings are pushed against the inside of 
the drum and the action to cause the friction to slow the vehicle, bringing the stop. The friction creates heat, and the heat drum can take the damage. Depends on how hard, how long your brakes are used to take much heat to stop the brakes from working properly. The S cam air brake. The air brake of the pedal pushing is in light. The air brake of the figure 710 air pusher extra pushes the rod out, moving the slack adjuster, twisting the brake, cash, brake cam shaft. The action of the S cam forces the brake shaft away from the other and presses against the inside of the brake drum. The brake pedal is released. The S cam rotates um, back and spring pulls the brake shoe away from the drum, allowing the vehicles to roll, or roll freely. All right, wedge brakes. The wedge brakes are the brake of the chain for rod, bush rod, and bush is the wedge directly between the end of the two brakes. The worn sleeve of the, the shoe parts and again to the inside of the brake pot, drum wedges brake shoe to either single brake drum um, chamber of the two brake chambers, the bush wedge, and both ends of the brake shoes. All right, disc brake. The air pressure for the air operative of the disc brakes are air and brake chamber, uh, a brake chamber that produces the movement of the slack adjuster of the like the S cam brake. The instead of the S cam power screw is used for the pressure of the brake chamber on the slack adjuster to remove the power screw. The power screw clamps the disc and rotor between the brake line paddings and the, over the caliper. Note the wedges and disc brakes are less common th than the S cam, um, S -cam brake. The S cam air brake shows the axle, the brake drum, the return spring, the brake um, cam, cam roller, brake shoe. Adjusting nut slack adjuster, push rod, and brake chamber. All right, spring brakes. All trucks and track, tra all trucks and tractor trailers, buses equipped with the emergency parking brake. The brakes are applied with the mechanical force pours. Produce a spring brake when driven with a powerful spring with held back and the air pressure leak with the air pressure system covered with the spring to engage the brakes. Engaging the parking brake on the dashboard, relief of the holding the by the spring to action allow with the spring to engage the brakes. Tractor um, sh or straight truck with spring brakes engaged with the air pressure drop drops below the um, drops to a pressure between 20 to 45 psi. Do not wait the brakes to engage automatically when the low air pressure warning light the burner buzzer activates. You should bring the vehicle to a stop immediately. Wait while you can still control the brakes. The brake power on the spring brakes depends on the adjustment of the brake. The brake adjustment incorrect with the regular emergency parking brakes do not work correctly. Parking brake controls. When a newer vehicle with a diamond shape yellow with a push um, pull control knob that you with the dam engage, disengage the parking brake, the knob is pulled out and the brakes are engaged, the pushing knob that you can relieve the brakes. In order to the um, older vehicle for the parking brake may be controlled by a lever that you should be engaged with the brake um, parking brake any time the vehicle is parked. Using the brakes. Um, when using the air brakes, you should push the brake um, pedal down and control the pressure of the vehicle. It comes to a smooth and safe stop. But the vehicle is equipped with a manual transmission. Do not push the clutch until the engine RPM is lowered at all speed. When the stop, then select the starting gear. Emergency stops. When applying air brakes and the emergency stop brakes, so you can steer and keep your vehicle straight. Use the method of the controlled stop and stop barking. Control braking, also called squeeze braking control, but the braking is applying with the brakes hard as possible. Locking in the wheels, do not turn the steering wheel while doing this. The steering is required with the wheels begin to slide. Release of the brakes, brake again as soon as the tires are tra um, traction. Sla stab braking, stab braking method requires applying the brakes as hard as possible, releasing them and the wheels lock up. When the wheels lock up, as soon as the wheels start to roll, apply the wheel brakes fully. Again, it takes uh, one second for the wheels to start rolling after releasing the brakes. You should st stay off the brakes long enough to get the wheel rolling again, otherwise the vehicle may stop in the straight line. Downhill braking, the correct method of going down long grades is use the low gear with the travel at slow speed with a lot of the fire, very light, steady, but the use of the brakes to prevent the vehicle speeding with up and when going slow, apply the light pressure with the brakes going cool down and working properly. Caution, when going down a hill, the use of the use of overuse of the brakes can um, make them get too hot when the cover of the brakes to fade, but this can cover the operator push down hard on the pedals again with the bra required braking power prolonged action, this can cover the brakes to fade until they stop trading, trading, stop working. Or a trailer hand valve. The trailer hand valve, also called the trolley valve, with the control of the trailer brakes, does not even the driving will be covered with the danger marking with the trailer skid. If the foot brake sends the L and sends air to all the brakes of the vehicle, including the trailer, this much there is much larger, less danger for the causing the skid or jack knife when one of the foot brakes is used. Only one foot brake is used. Tractor protection valve. The tractor protection valve keeps the air with the tractor truck. Tractor or truck shift the trailer brake away with the valve with the bad air leak with the valve is controlled with the tractor air trailer air supply with the control valve with the cab of the truck and the tractor control valve always opening and the shutting of the tractor protection valve with the tractor protection valve closes automatic with the air pressure drops between and it drops to a twenty to forty five psi. The tractor um protects Protection valve closes to, and it stops any of the casing of the tractor, but they also shut the air off on the trailer emergency line, causing the trailer emergency brakes to engage. Trailer airlines. Every combination of the vehicle has two airlines, but there are service line with the emergency line that run in each of the vehicles, such as the trailer, tractor, and trailer, trailer, dolly, dolly, the second tractor.
trailer. Surface airline. Surface airlines care for the control of the foot brake for the trailer hand brake, depending on the how hard the foot brake is engaged. The pressure for the surface line, similar with the chain of the surface line, with control of the relay valve on the trailer earlier than the ply with the purpose for more per pressure, less prayer with the trailer brake. As the pressure increases the surface line with the relay valve opens and the sand air be correct pressure to the trailer to air tank the trailer brake chambers and applying the trailer brakes. Emergency airlines. The emergency um, air li emergency line has two purposes. First, to supply with the trailer with the air tank trailer to air tank air air to the trailer tanks. Second, emergency line control of the emergency brake and the combination of the um, vehicle loss of the air brakes air pressure over the emergency line called with the trailer emergency brakes to activate the pressure loss could cause because of the trailer breaking loose the tearing apart of the air, emergency air hose this could, call, um, could also result with the hose the metal tube or other parts breaking causing an air leak with the emergency line loses, loses pressure cause of the traction protection with the clothes and close and causing the air supply not to pop out Emergency lines should have such as hose couplers and other parts of red covering. The red covering allows you to separate the emergency lines and service lines with a blue covering. All right, your hose couplers. Hose couplers, commonly known as glad hands, are coupling devices that connect with the surface of the emergency airline from the truck of the tractor for the trailer. The glad, line, glad hands are rim, rubber seals and known as the rubber garments to prevent the air from escaping the clear of the garments before the connection with the glad hand. The connection with the glad hand press the two seals together with the glass hands at 90 degree angles to each other. Turn the glad hands attached to the hose joints and lock the couplers. Some of the vehicle with a dead end with the dummy glad with hands at which with a hose. Well, the hose should be connected with the knot in use to prevent the water from the dirt from getting into the glad hands of the airline. The vertical import very important because of the keeping the air system is critical uh, clean critical factor. Figure 711 shows the glad hands rubber grommet. Um, when connecting glad hands, ensure the proper glad hands couple it together the on the such on some of the equipment metal tags attached with the line with the word surface emergency stamped on the collar with the blue with the surface line with the color red for the emergency line connections. If the lines are crossed with the supply with the scent with the surface line instead of the going to the charge of the trailer, they are thereby not available to relieve the trailer spring brakes and the parking brakes. The spring brake do not relieve the push from the trailer air supply control and object the airline connections. Caution, older trailers do not have spring brakes if the air supply with the trailer air tanks have leaked out. The emergency brakes will not exist and the trailer will run free, turn freely. If the cross of the airline, the trailer will roll. However, this will, will be no trailer, there will be no trailer brakes. No, always test the trailer brakes of the driving the engine have an handling brake pulling the track, track tractor protection valve. Only these brakes are engaged shifting the tractor low gear pull along gently against the brake system to make sure the brakes work. Shut off valves are commonly known as cut off cocks or else even the surface emergency lines with the guide hands are located in the back of the military shoes and truck and tra tractors and cargo. Figure 7, 12 to the vehicle tra trailer hook up with the glad hand uh, cut off cock. The air cut off cock, um, the service brake, the panel hook, panel hook lock latch, electrical cable, safety chains, emergency brake hose. Alright, um, figure 5th wheel assembly show the pivot, the locking wheel, locking jaw, low, lower 5th wheel locking handle, upper 5th wheel plate, kingpin, king landing gear. Trucks and trailers, figure 7, 12 with the bailers permit the opening and closing airline the towing of the trailers. Trailer air tanks. Trailer and dollars have more than one air tank so that the tanks are have the emergency airline with the tractor provided with the air pressure operate with the trail brakes sign with the air pressure for the air tanks and brakes that re valve relay valve pressure serve with the lines um, signals how the pressure for the relay should sign with the trailer brakes. The pressure service lines control with the brake pedal and the trailer hand brake. Caution, do not allow water or oil to build up the air tanks excess amount of water oil affection affect the operation brakes negative to each of the tank with the drain valve should be drained uh, daily. All right, operation the Na Navy construction for the tractor trailer um, operations remain with the transportation service. The operation the tractor trailer is more difficult than the most for the other vehicle, but therefore operations must be mature and reliable and experienced to drive the tractor trailer safely. Must be able to control the speed, direction, safe operation. Tractor trailer requires skill, coupling, uncoupling, acceleration, steering, shifting gears, braking. Additionally, you must remember to make it line with it for the added length of the turning back and passing other vehicles through manu maneuvering into the position for the loading and unloading. Your fifth wheel assembly and tractor and tractor and trailer are separate units joined together with a fifth wheel. The fifth wheel consists of the two metal plates, one of the tractor known as the lower fifth wheel, second figure seven thirteen view A, and one of the trailer known as the upper fifth wheel seven fifth thirteen B. The upper lower um, fifth wheel with the flexible coupling permits the both rotational vertical movement between the tractor and trailer. The upper fifth wheel has a kingpin, lower fifth wheel has a locking jaw the uh, locking around the kingpin to couple the tractor tra tractor trailer. Together, looking locking jaws operate with a hand level to examine the side of the lower of the fifth wheel and can release and pulling the locking handle forward shown in figure 713, pulling locking handle outward shown in figure 714. 
when the trailer is not connected with the tractor front end of the trailer support with a retractable two legged landing gear the landing gear may be equipped with the wheels and pads the flat piece of the heavy metal with the glad hand connection for the trailer server the emergency airline with the air connect electric connection for the clearance and side market brake lights are located Figure 714 shows the fifth wheel locking jaws in open position. Locking handle, locking jaw pin open position. 715 air and electrical connections. Air connections, electrical connections. 24 and 12 volt. All right, from the front of the trailer, figure 715, the trailer, the na 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 um, Navy Construction Force normally have two electrical connections adapted with either 12 or 4, 24 volt electrical system. Coupling and uncoupling. Coupling and uncoupling correctly is basic safety operation tractor trailers. Incorrect coupling and uncoupling coupling cause can be dangerous cause of the unnecessary equipment damage downtime. Basic step of the coupling tractor and trailer is follow the inspect the fifth wheel, check the damage missing parts, ensure the mounting of the tractor is secure where there is no cracks in the frame, ensure the fifth wheel is grease. Failure to keep the fifth wheel plate gr lubricated could cause the steering problems because of the friction between the tractor and trailer. Ensure the fifth wheel is properly positioned with the coupling coupling um, completing of the following checks. Ensure the wheel is tilted down toward the rear of the Tra tractor. Ensure the locking jaws are open. Equip the equipped with the sliding fifth wheel assembly. Ensure the locking locks in position. Ensure the trailer kingpin is not bent or broken. Step two: Inspect the area and chalk wheels. Ensure the area around the tractor and tractor trailers are clear of obstruction. Check the trailer wheels. Ensure the chocks are replaced and spring brakes are engaged. Check all the cargo, if any, ensured if secure with the movement to do the tractor being coupled together. Step three: Position the tractor. Position the tractor directly in front of the trailer, backing up the trailer at an angle, could push the trailer sideways and bend back, breaking the landing gear. Check the position of the tractor by using the both side outside mirrors and looking down both sides of the trailer. Step four, the back slowly, back slowly until the fifth wheel just touches the trailer. Step five, secure the trailer, apply with the parking brake, play for the manual transmission in neutral, if any automatic transition, play for the park, play for the wheel chocks. Step six, um, check the height of the trailer. Trailer should be low, low, and low enough to allow this raise and raise slightly. The tractor with the tractor backed up and under it and raised lower to the trailer is needed. Caution. If the trailer is too low on um, low, the tractor may struggle and cause unnecessary damage to both rear and tractor and over the trailer. If the trailer is too high, it may not couple to get correctly. Ensure the camping fifth wheel uh, line. Step 7, connect the airline with the trailer, inspect the rubber ground with the glad hand, with the wear of the tear, with the connect with the tractor's air, emergency airline, with the control man, trailer, emergency glad hands, connect with the tractor, serve the airline with the trailer, serve the glad hands, ensure the airlines are safely supported as so they cannot be, they cannot be crushed or caught while the traction is being under the trailer. Step 8, supply the air trailer for run the cab of the pushing of the air supply knob of the supply of the air tra trailer, brake system, military tractors are sometimes equipped with a shutoff. Valve must be open and supply the air to the trailer brakes to check the air pressure gates. Wait until the air pressure is normal. Apply the release for the release for the trailer brakes. Listen for the sound of the trailer being applied. Release should hear the brakes are moving and applied. And escape the air brakes. Air release. Check the air pressure gauge for the signs of major air loss. Step nine. Lock the trailer brakes. Pull all pull out the air supply knob of the applied in the tractor trailer hand valve with the steering column to lock the trailer brakes. Step 10, back back under the trailer. Use the lowest reverse gear, back the trailer under the trailer until the kingpin is locked into the fifth wheel. Pull the trailer gently forward with the trailer brakes and still engage and ensure the trailer's kingpin is locked in the locking jaw of the fifth wheel. Step 7, inspect the coupling, place the trans transmission in neutral manual, put in the automatic transmission in, uh, in the park and the automatic transmission, engage the parking brakes, disengage the trailer hand valve. Know that depending on your location, you may not, you may want to shut off the engine, take the key will you want, uh, with you to prevent someone from moving the truck while you're under it. Inspect the area around the fifth wheel. Make sure that there's a gap between the upper and lower fifth wheel. If there's a gap, something wrong. The kingpin may be on the top of the closed locking jaw. But if so, the trailer can move loose easily. Go into the trailer. Look in the back of the fifth wheel. With, um, ensure the fifth wheel locks. The locking jaws have closed under the chain of the kingpin. Figure 7 and 16 show the trailer kingpin, shank head, and kingpin. Check with the locking lever over the locking position. Figure 7 and 17. Ensure the safety catch with the position over the locking lever. And so equip step 12. Um, connect the electrical cord. Check the airlines. Play, plug the electrical cord with the trailer. Figure 7 and 18. Fasten the safety catch. Inspect the both airlines electrical lines for signs of damage. Ensure all air and electrical lines do not contain any parts of the vehicle. Contact any parts of the vehicle. Step 13. Raise the landing gear. Use the low gear if equipped with the bay by raising the landing gear with the one the free head. Switch for the high range gear range. But because raise the landing gear with the way up of the driving landing gear part of the way of the good with the practice because of the much of the kit may cast the railroad tracks on other obstacles. So secure the crank handle safely after the landing of the ra ra landing ra gear raise. 
Figure 717 shows locking jaw closed position. Figure 718 shows electrical connector. Alright, check the rear tractor frame and landing of the gear with the ensure that enough of the clearance to make the turns. Ensure that the clear enough clearance is between the top of the tractor trailer and the nose of the trailer. Step 14, remove the trailer wheel chocks, remove the seal wall, wheel chocks in safe place. Basic steps of uncoupling the tractor from the trailer as follows. Step 1. Position the tractor and trailer. Ensure the parking area surface with can support the wave of the trailer. Ensure the tractor is lined up with the trailer at the ball possible. Um, because of the pulling out of the angle can be bad with the damage to landing gear. Step 2. Eve the pressure of the locking jaws. Shut off the trailer with air supply and gave the trailer hand valve with the lock of the trailer brakes. Ensure the locking jaws back up with the general leap. This procedure helped you at least the fifth wheel with locking lever. Apply the parking brake for the tractor. Parking the holding the tractor in place while the pressure and king pen is in the locking jaws. Step 3. Lower the landing gear. Check the... Check the um, Shock the trailer wheels. It makes the trailer is empty. If the trailer is empty, lower the landing gear until it makes firm contact with the ground. If the trailer is loaded after the landing gear, it makes firm contact with the ground. Turn the cranking of lower gear low, in the lower gear for the extra turn to lift some of the weight off the tractor suspension. Remote: Do not lower the landing gear so that low, um, low is the lifting trap on the trailer of the fifth wheel becomes doing this for a hard way to couple and couple. Step 4. Disconnect the electrical cable. Disconnect the electrical cable hanging on the cable to plug down to prevent the moisture of the entering. Ensure the electrical cable is supported so that it will not damage the driving tractor. Step 5. Unlock the fifth wheel. Raise the safety catch and cover the lock pin. If so, equip. Pull the release handle to open position. Warning. Keep the legs and feet clear of the rear of the tractor wheels to avoid injury should the tractor move. Step 6. Pull the tractor partially clear of the trailer. Pull the trailer forward until the fifth wheel comes out of the, under the trailer. Stop the tractor on frame underneath the trailer. This prevents the trailer from falling to the ground. Landing gear should be, uh, collapse and sink. Section Step 7. Secure the tractor. Apply the parking brake. Disengage the trailer. Hand valve with the relief of the trailer. Brakes in place. The manual transmission. Neutral park and automatic transition. All right, step eight, secure the trailer with a disconnect with the airline with the trailer with the connect with the air glad hand with the dummy couplers at the back of the trailer cab with the figure 719. Ensure the line with the support so they will not be damaged with the driving tractor. Ensure the ground is in support over the trailer over the ensure the landing gear is not damaged. Step nine, pull the tractor clear of the trailer, releasing the parking brakes, checking the surrounding area to drive the tractor clear of the trailer. Acceleration, driving the acceler uh, driving the tractor trailer, you must not roll backward for, for when start because you may hit a vehicle behind you. Place the engaged clutch with the taking the wave with the right foot off the braking off the end. Uh, I found an incline and gave it the parking brake to hold the tractor, then relief the parking brake only when you have applied enough orange and RPM to keep it from rolling backward. Another technique is to engage the engine hard throttle, engine hand throttle, but increase the engine RPM while the right foot is on the back brake and left foot is partially engaged on the clutch. The clutch engages the foot brake, disengages the handle, and th engages the hand throttle. Accelerate smoothly, gradually, with the tractor does not jerk with a rough acceleration, cover the unnecessary premature mechanical damage to drive the train with the coupling. When the traction is brought poor with the rain or snow, with the speed gradually, even if it's using too much power, may cover the driver wheel to spin. The driver the wheel with the loose traction does not apply with the brakes and take the just take off with the accelerator. Steering the steering hold with the steering wheel firmly with both hands opposite out on the side of the wheel. Should the you hit the pothole of the curb, the steering wheel could pull away from the hands. You do not have firm like shifting the gears. Correct shifting gear is important not only because they have the full control of the tractor trailer, but grinding to them the term the use of the driver, the forcing the gears that can gave the clutching, slipping with the right, rapid engagement, the cuff, and the shifting of uh, shifting and then proper downshift, so forth, the cuff of the premature failure with the drive line components. Most tractor trailers manual transmission require double clutching to chain with the gears. The procedure of the double clutching were covered in chapter two. Remember, shift gears are used the double clutching required practice to remain with low as long as neutral they may have difficult putting the transmission into the next gear. If that happens, do not try to force it. Instead, return the neutral release the clutch, increase the engine speed to the mass of the road speed, and try to shift on the correct gear. You can use the two-factor of the tail of the shift of the transmission only with the engine RPM. The operator's manu manual tells you the operator of the engine RPM tracks over the U for the tachometer shift over the engine reach for the top of the engine. Second factor road speed RPM. The, the experience you will learn what speeds each gear is good for. Then using the speed bomber and engine speed, we will know how to shift. 
All right, multiple speed rear axle auxiliary transmission. Multiple speed rear axle auxiliary transmissions are used with the many with the traction um, tractors as provided with the extra gear. The gears are shifted with the selector knob switch on the gear shaft level of the main transmission. Many different transmission shifting of the patterns are therefore important that the operator study the operator's main with operating with the tractor and unfamiliar transmission shifting patterns. All right, figure 720 shows the right turn a right turn and a show the two right turns. Um, Automatic transmission. Some of the transmission in the Navy construction for the equipment of automatic transmission low range can be selected to have with greater engine braking than the going downhill ground grades. Lower range prevent the transmission shifting beyond with the selected gear of the shifting automatic transmission incorrect with the causing material to damage the transmission. Therefore, operators must study the operation of techniques shifting automatic transition. Retarders. Some of the tra tractors equipped with the retarders has slowed the vehicle, reducing the need for the brake with the oncoming retarder known as the take brake. Retarders can be reduced for the brake of the wear with the provide another means for the slowdown. Retarders are controlled by the Operator and our exhaust engine with the hydraulic electrical turns when making turn with the tractor trailer must always allow allow overlay of the unit. Remember that tractor trailer's hinge in the middle of the trailer has a tendency to cut the corners rather than full the tractor trailer for the reason it is necessary to become make a wider turn than turning in the straight truck. Caution turn signals as well in advance for the starting with the turn extremely important. This action warns the other driver that the turning is going to be made, although it drives safely. Right turns. When performing a right-hand turn, slowly to give it yourself the other time and avoid the problems. If you cannot make a right turn without swinging it into the other lane, turn the wide as the complete the wide and what wide, wide as you complete the turn is shown. In figure 720, view A. If you keep the rear of the tractor close to the curb at the stop of the driver from passing to the right. On the right, if you um, if you must cross the oncoming traffic lane, you may make the turn. Watch your vehicle coming towards you. Give them run it, room to go and stop. However, do not back them up for the because you may have the vehicle directly behind you. Do not turn left. This um, you start with the turn on the right with the figure seven twenty B. Um, because of the following driver may think you are the turning left. Try the path them on the passing on the right. Remember, if you turn too sharp. While making a right turn, your trailer will ride up and curb and possibly run over the obstruction. Uh, run over obstruction 721. Incorrect correction. Um, right turn. 722 tractor trailer left turn um, tracking. Left turns on left turn. Ensure that you have the reach of the center intersection before starting the left turn. If the turn is still with the left, turn, left side of the vehicle, may another vehicle with the because of the off the tracking figure 722. If you two turn lanes, lane, so always take the right hand turn lane. Um, as shown in figure 723. Do not start the inside lane because you have to swing the right to make the left turn. You may have not see vehicles on the right starting instead of cause a collision. All right, backing. When backing a trailer, reverse the procedure that you would also back the bus and straight the truck. For example, if you want a tractor to go to the left, then turn the steering wheel to the right. After the trailer has headed the direct, desired direction, turn the steering wheel slowly to the left. This puts the tractor in the same line with the travel of the trailer, prevents the tractor and the trailer from the jackknifing. The term jackknifing means condition where the tractor and trailer are jammed together at an acute late angle. Backing the trailer in the left, left is known as sight side. Um, because because you have a better view of the area which are backing or you are backing up showing figure 724 view a size backing is recommended with the method of the backing reverse siding the backing procedure back of the trailer right to the right, right known as blind siding backing is shown should be done only with the absolute necessary as shown figure 724 view b as the driver 723 show the left turn on the right hand lane cannot see the rear of the trailer on the air with which backing you should you always back the guide and perform the backing operation tractor trailer Safety. When pulled off of the road, the tractor trailer turn on the four-way emergency flashers. However, do not touch off the tail lights to provide warning. Because the driver has crashed in the rear of the parked vehicles, because of the thought of the moving, it must stop. The you mu if you must stop on the road or a shoulder, you must place reflective triangles with as soon as possible. The reflective triangles, triangles are placed in the following locations. On a two-lane undivided highway, place the reflective triangle with the triangle side with the uh, traffic side of the vehicle within 10 feet of the front of the rear of the corners, and the marks of the location of the vehicle's additional place the reflective triangles 100 feet behind and ahead. I have the tractor trailer shoulder in the lane stopped in Figure 725. If you are stopped beyond the hill with the curve, the obstruction prevents the um, drivers to see with the tractor trailer with 500 feet play with the reflective device as shown in Figure 726. If you stop then by a one-way divider highway, reflective time in the triangle 10 to 100 feet, 200 feet of toward approaching traffic shown in Figure 727. 
All right, this shows A, the view A, driver's area of vision, driver, um, the view backing of the trailer, driver's area of vision. Reflective triangles placement in two-lane undivided highway. 110 foot, 100. Reflective triangle placement obstructive view. 10 foot, 100 to 500 feet. Hill curve, 100 to 500 feet, 10 after that. When driving a tractor trailer, you must maintain the safe only distance, avoid rear end collisions. Figure 727, the deflective triangle, and the effective, reflective triangle placement, one way to divide it on, on high, uh, highway. Rule of thumb for measuring how many distances should be made within the vehicle with front of view of at least that one second for each 10 foot vehicle of the length is part of the speed below to 40 miles an hour greater speed. You must add one second for every safety for safety. For example, if you are operating a 40 foot vehicle, you should always use at least four seconds between the vehicle ahead and 60 feet of the tractor trailer behind. You need six seconds. Six, you need six seconds. Every 40 miles an hour, you need five seconds for 40 foot vehicle, seven seconds for 60 foot tractor or trailer. The, this measure the distance to wait until the vehicle ahead. Of the past to the shadow on the road, make move the make move pavement marking sound clear of the landmark. Then cut off the second with the one thousands and one thousand two, so forth until the vehicle reaches the same spot. Compare you count with the rule one as I got every ten feet length. If you're operating a forty foot truck, only count it, um, count it up to two seconds. You are too close. Loading and securing cargo. Tractor trailer operator, you must have an understandably basic procedure, safety play, um, rules, and uh, transportation, transportation, construction supply with equipment and proper landing, and any loading and danger for yourself or the other is around you can damage the tractor trailer. After steering the tractor, set forth the operator whether or not the load, the secure the load, load yourself, responsible to inspect the load, and you recognize the overload and ba proper poor balance. Um, weight and sure the load is properly tied and strap the chain down. And covered and if required. No, if you take the last time to tie down and then and take the reports using the load of the fell in the trailer. Our vehicle weight definition operator is responsible for knowing how much weight is loaded on the tractor trailer, knowing the total weight of the bolt until the cargo the terms are you the vehicle weight is filed, paid along with the payload. This maximum weight of the material can be transported, gross weight, vehicle weight, or GVW, the total weight of the single vehicle plus load, gross combination weight, GCW, the total weight of the powered unit, including trailers and cargo, gross weighted weighting rate, gross vehicle weighting rate is the maximum gross vehicle weight specified by the manufacturer for a single vehicle, including the load. Gross combination weight rating is uh, GCWR is the maximum gross combination weight of the specified manufacturer for the specified combination, including load. Your curb weight is the total weight of the empty truck with a fuel with a fuel tank cooling system crankcase filled. The additional is also included with the weight of the tools, spare with tires, equipment, and spare with specified the terms. However, the weight does not include the weight of the payload. An operator's axle weight is the weight of the transmitted to the ground by one axle or one set of the axle's tire load. The maximum safety weight of the tire can carry the specified pressure. The rating is stated on each side of each tire. The suspension system has manufacturer's weight carrying capacity rating. Coupling device is rated with the maximum weight that can pull or carry. Operation condition the maximum payload of the truck is determined by subtracting the curb weight with the weight of the driver with the 175 pound with the maximum gross weight with the weight of the ra rating with the maximum gross weight weight of the rating of the VS5. The operating condition applies only when the tires are equipped on the truck accordingly. Shows the wrong. This will bend the frame of the overload with the front with the steering hard. The right. This is the heavy part and the load near the axle with the bo bo tire bloating and the keep of the frame wrong. The weight of the distribution bends the frame overloads the tires and the steering. Right. Concentrate with just ahead of the rear axle left along the left side of the floor. Um, use the right, using the right vehicle for the job. Wrong. Right. Wrong. Overloads where they have the rear of the brake with the properly rubbed the wave uh, distribute load over the full of the trailer brake. Wrong. The overloads one spring of the side of the area of the brake loads on the lightly side of the cause of the skid. Right. Nothing overloaded frame not, won't twist loosening the crossbar member. Wrong. Overloads are shortened in life that leads to the rear axle housing applying when the trailer brakes and locking the wheels to close the flat spots and guiding right and wrong. If no careful, if not careful, this will happen. Are the manufacturer recommendations specified operation conditions ideal and moderate and safe? Ideal condition is that the truck was operated with improvement of the level roads, asphalt, concrete, constant, constant relative with moderate speed with no adverse weather and road conditions until the under the condition recommended with the payload 100% of the maximum permissible. 
Payload, moderate condition, moderate condition when the truck is over, operating with a high speed over the improved highways, asphalt, concrete, and or without long, how long, or steep trade. Moderate conditions also include operate moderate seats over semi-approved roads, gravel, the equivalent source for sourcing, surfacing, and even gently rolling cr country with a few steps grade, no adverse weather and road conditions under this magnet condition. The recommended of the payload is equal to 80% of the maximum permissible load. Hard right, service condition. Service condition of vehicles operated with the highway road for the high lake terrain. The unimproved pioneers are accessed for the road deep out holes and steep grade. But these conditions include operating with the traffic again to create a deep hole with a run in the heavy snow covering the normally good city with a street. Highways under these conditions recommended payloads equal 64% of the permissible payload. Weight distribution. Distribution cargo are definite with the bearing lift of the axle of the frame and the other parts of the vehicle. The fact, the fact that the truck of the trailer is not being long and be loaded beyond the gross vehicle weight capacity does not mean that the individual tires axles may not overload by faulty distribution of cargo. Avoid using such as the maximum G gross vehicle weighting and the gross combination weight axle weights. Axle weights prevent overloading bridges and roadways. Some examples of proper and improper placement load are shown in figure 728. If the load truck of the, the, load truck of the tractor pay properly, you may have to determine the center load the truck of the position of the center payload with the center of the body with a point made um, midway between the rear of the driver's cab and tailgate the tractor trailer unit the position with the center of the payload roughly in the center of the trailer body but because of the load front over the wheel of the tractor trailer is settled and will carry any of the payload while the loading of the ensure the maximum capacity of the vehicle is not exceeded over the axle with the maximum permissible is less than the maximal axle Ex example that is probably shown in figure in 729 729 shows the distributor distribution weight. The payload weight may, may be, um, payload must weigh with the, um, probably beyond the percent of the weight carry with the front axle carry the rear axle exactly exam, equal weight equal to the, the ratios for which the vehicle was designed. Show figure 729. All right, loading cargo. Tractor trailer may be uh, adapted to the transportation of various types of the material, such as the fragile, bulk, compact, dense, rough, high center of gravity items. To accommodate the variety of items, you must plan the load primarily to prepare the tractor trailer, secure the load of the vehicle, secure the load of restraining the proper line with the cargo strap, the chain with the fastening with the tie down binders should keep them, and the shifting of the following off the weight should the load fall with it from the vehicle. It could fall, uh, fall under under underpass culvert, bridges, abutments, and great hazards to pedestrians to protect the fragile items. Figure 7, um, 30 shows a permanent loading ramp for damaging the shafting, blurring the uh, rubber together with the cardboard, paper, cloth, and other filler. Loading equipment on the trailer is danger for the most cases. The equipment will be just as wide as the little room with the air. Um, as always, read for the guide and ensure the equipment over the trailer is straight that you run in. The, uh, you run in, do not run any of the off of the trailer, regardless of the, what the type of the equipment you have loaded with the type of the trailer you use. There generally rules apply. The rules are have the equipment aligned with the trailer, the transmission gear, with the load gear, with the increase of the throttle of the tractor just high enough to have the proper power to power itself with the onto the trailer. Watch the following guide. Do not steer sharply. Do not stop. Uh, ex stop except for emergency four. The, Four, five of the crawler machines only move, move slowly at the top of the rainy with the ramp jar following the can result with the machine and post pass balance point. Six center the equipment on the trailer load with the tractor trailer with the tractor trailers and tractor trailer axles evenly. Load, load, load bed trailer. Load bed trailer with the self propelled machine. You must use the ramp blocks and bank pile of dirt or ditch. Portable ramps are heavy, dirt, uh, heavy and hard to handle, but require the four people to lift the carry set up with the most equipment. You have a permanent ramp that's constructed with timber or concrete to support load and unloading of the equipment. Blanks can be, blo blocks can be used to hold the crawler, but, um, crawler and but not recommended with the wheel equipment and the U of the blocks and nothing uh, however precautions because of the machine is a greater angle of the desired balance point is met with figure 731 when the trailer can be backed up against the bank into the ditch you may load unload with the use of the ramp without use of the ramp when you have the load of the machine you do not need to have the ramps or block of ditches you may have to push with the uh, up a uh, push up a pile of dirt from the load and dig a hole and to finish the grade in any place that you may have to smooth out but if you do not push the pile of dirt for a ramp ensure the ramp angle is not steep three feet out three feet out for every one foot up ensure the group is wider than the trailer somewhat um compacted support with ground bearing pressure equipment Tilt bed trailer, tilt bed trailer having portable ramps at all time. The tilt bed trailer tilt with this figure 732 load to move up the forward balance point. The load continues to move forward. Bed lowers into the transportation position. Ensure the tilt bed locking device safety lock is shown in figure 76 are open before the bed is lowered. 
Warning, when using a tilt bed trailer with a hell of the equipment, do not attempt to load and load equipment to be equipped with ramp, ramp docking as well as performing using a low bed trailer. This action damage of scuff the severe damage of the tilting bed trailer, tilt bed docking lock mechanism. Our right, figure 731 shows load crawling using blocks. Um, caution, using the tilt bed trailer dam with the wet conditions, extremely dangerous, can cover the uncomfortable sliding of the equipment off of the trailer during loading and unloading operations. For your detachable gooseneck, the detachable gooseneck trailer is designed when the gooseneck is detached, you can load with a machine with a, with, without any ramp lift tilting the deck with it, without, with, and without any ramp that are tilting the deck over the edge of the balance point. The gooseneck frame is held together with alignment, the removal of the pin and safety locks, removing and releasing with the pin and safety locks, disconnect the brake electrical line, two units are lowered to the ground. Hydraulic jack with the gooseneck by the loose lines from the witch mount with the tractor, the gooseneck neck is tightly tapped with the frame carry the drag in short distance by the trailer. Ramps are flipped and over the rest of the ground. Equipment is driven out the, upon the trailer. The goose is based on into the plate with attached to the lift and lock of the back electrical lines. Reconnect with the ramps are followed in the deck of the trailer. You can also load from the rear of the regular load bed trailer. The beat, um, before you oh, operate with the type of the trailer, re read and understand um, the operator's manual. The trailers are low ground clearance. So, so, so take an um, extreme care when crossing any high point with the roadway, such as the railroad track speed bumps and dips. Securing cargo, regardless of whether what type of the you are operating with material hauling, however the far over you hauling must load with a filling and sh without sugar with the falling shifting load shift the wave of the load may have been also moved to cause the axle to be overload mechanical failures occur. Certain conditions can cause the cargo having the transportation shift however the almost cargo movement that control the U of the power blocking, bracing, blocking is U of the front and the back and side of the piece of the cargo keeping it from sliding and blocking. Figure seven thirty show the tilt bed trailer with a bed in tilt position. Figure 733 shows symmetrical tie-down um, patterns. Load symmetrical binder and chain, bind and chain symmetrical, unsym binder chain load unsymmetrical. Or it should be space for the pit, again for the cargo, it should be a secure for the deck for the trailer to prevent the cargo from moving the braces, it should prevent the movement of the cargo bracing is play for the under part of the cargo floor and the wall of the, of the cargo compartment. Because of the cargo load, it has the tendency to shift the common rule of the thumb to inspect with the cargo and serve the device before departing within 25 miles after the um, beginning with the trip, it always check with the cargo, so the device the necessary tip of the keep of the load structure within the inside of the spec of the cargo, secure the devices, you have three to four hours to 450 miles. After the break of the taking during the trip, loose material. Dump trucks are often used to haul loose material. The soil aggregated with its hand. Example, the cargo is categorized with loose material. When operating dump trucks, be sure that no part of the load can fall off the truck. When making the turns, you should stop the load before reaching the top of the side of the end gate. Dirt spilled in the curve of the turns that would create driving hazards should be cleaned up daily. Any hazard created with the loose material is broken windshield cover the aggregate falling on the dump truck. No, in some t states, some of the deployment locations require requirements of all the loose material loads carried in the dump truck must be covered. Building material. When loading steel, the lumber, and anything that must be unloaded with a forklift or crane, you should place 4x4 four four timbers on the pal or pallets under load. That This helps to get the forks, forks and cables into and out of the under the load. Restraints of loads must be secure enough to prevent movement in any direction, which means movement at forward and aft, vertical and horizontal. Uh, figure 7, the 34 shows chains properly hooked to the equipment and trailer tie downs. Chain hooked to the equipment and chain hooked to the trailer. When securing the lines, play the tie down symmetrical as shown with figure 733. The tie down assembly must have the safe working with the um, safe working load as one and one half times the weight of the load of restraint. For example, the restraint crane trailer with its 55,000 pounds, you need not tie down as a for 82,500 pounds. This means that you may need one and a half inch chain with the, um, with the safe working load of 11,000 pounds each with the eight binders with the half inch hooks. On flatbed low boy trailers with the sides with size cargoes, be sure with the trailer to keeping the shifting and the falling off the closed van trail with tie downs also carry prevent the cargo from shifting and may affect the handling of the vehicle. The tie downs must be the proper type of the type of the strength with the combined strength with the tie downs must be strong enough to lift one and a half times the weight of the piece for the cargo. Chains make up the most of the tie down assembly side of the chains normally even the navy construction for the three eighths of an inch one and a half inch of plate for the cl class of the white toe one type of the alloy. Steel um now no, now safe working loading any chain before you um know know the safe working load of the chain before you put it to use. Chain using a restraint should be there with the grab hooks both ends 
seventh. A look at the chain show. I'm sure okay, it's possible to tie down the trailer on the equipment at the 734 prevent the chain from getting stuck. A slack on the one binder is attached close with the binders and have a clearing tight device that made of steel with the swivel chain hooks and in leverage. You can hook one of the binder hooks on the chain, maneuver the chain track the trailer deck and the other hanger on the higher up the chain near the low. The chain is light, tightened and pulled in. Lever down shown figure 735. Um, uh, in three-inch diameter, foot, three-foot length pipe, the commonly known as the term cheater bar is normally used with the lever that provides with the move, move more leverage when closing the binder. Whenever, when you use the closing opening with leverage, do not put your head in air arm in line with the lever using loose grip, and then leverage will open and hit you. Equipment assume that the equipment has been loaded and described earlier in the shaft of the place to tie down some of the correct tie down equipment. To be sure that you do not put, put the chain around the hydraulic fuel brake lines because they will be crushed by the binders. Ensure that you are secured and all movement is symmetrically shown. Figure 733 that some of the equipment cannot be moved forward or left or vertically horizontal. Caution when transporting equipment equipped with a turbocharger set off the exact staff to prevent alteration turbocharger turbo wind velocity. Um, the third use hook can result in damage to the turbine and bearings due to the lack of lubrication, oversized, overweight loads, oversized, overweight loads require special permits. Figure 735 shows work does not against the too close, work with the right too close. Driving is usually limited to a certain time of the day, requires special equipment in the wide load time with the flashing lights to flags, police escorts, pilot vehicles, bearing wearing signs and flashing lights. Note weight and height, the width of the limitations are set for the Lord each day. It's also known with the weight and height, width of the load are pulling in a regulation state for the you are operating in. All right, dump trucks. The naval construction port that they use many shapes the size of the dump trucks, ranging from two and a half tons to twenty tons per per month, form the construction disaster disaster rare operations of the twenty five tons support quarry operation. Although they are different variety of the type of the dump trucks <laughs> used in principal operations, same as they are the same the operators are, you are responsible for. All right, seven thirty six. The dump truck uh, truck body components: tailgate operating lever, ten gauge steel equivalent, V type um, slide braces, running board corner post, tailgate hook, rear cross member, the double acting gate, box construction, tailgate adjusting chain spreader, removal steel pin, gosset, buckets, under inserting sideboards, tailgate operating lever, vigor dumping of the load. Reading and understanding of the operator's manual with the model of the dump truck with the U.R. sign of the operator with the setting of the section with the cover of the basic chapter of the operation dump truck. Character of the type of the typical, typical dump truck with the equipment of the dump body with the hinge of the rear of the dump frame with the mount with the directly in the truck fade track chassis dump truck and dump body the range of the structural strength with the size of the support different operations. This is why it's important for the operator knowing the design capacity of the dump truck assigned to operate. You do not want to head the coral rack and the dump body with the design to haul the heat, heat haul, to haul heat and asphalt. The quarry rock damage for the dump body rendered the useless uh, for the asphalt operational components of the dump trucker body shown in figure 736. Uh, a hydraulic hoist assembly with the rave of the lower of the dump truck with the hydraulic driven with a proper propelled proper shaft that connect with the power of the takeoff. The very wide, uh, variety of waves that engage the power of take off on the dump truck with the Navy construction force. Therefore, consult the operator's manual specific instruction on how to engage power takeoff and hoist assembly. All right, your dump truck operation, dump truck operation truck should be in level of the ground. Include up the hill with the front of the truck with the face downward. The truck in position, relief of the lower last tailgate, the hand lever in the front lever, the control body, one over the body, figure 737. Then engage the control body um, in the hydraulic pressure, beginning with the truck dump body with the body, release the load side, blackward, upward, up on the tailgate, 738 view A. If the load piles up in the box of the figure 738 view B. Play the truck and place the truck on the lower gear, make it forward until the more pitch space of the jump is the remainder of the of the load. If the load does not slide out, easily have someone dislodge it with a lot, with a long hand shovel taking care of it not to stand immediately in the dumping area. The dump load of the rocks or other large solid seat of the tailgate is latched on the bottom of the unfastened top, so the tailgate can drop down. The load drag can drop down as shown in Figure 739. Note all dump trucks have two tail. Uh, note not all dump trucks have two ta uh, tailgate wings on those that do not have the tailgate down. Um, the support and with the chains to spread load over a large area. 739 shows the tailgate rig with the dumping and large material end of the tailgate and the tailgate wings. 740 tailgate ridge with a spread up spreading operation. All right. While shifting the truck with low gear, the driver is slightly forward to dumping the shown figure 740. The dump truck can be held in any position, and by the return control level, of the whole position, the dumping can be completed lower, lowering the body, return the control level, of the lowering position, then close the tailgate latches. 
Loading the dump truck should be distributed evenly. Help, help heap the loads, loads in the front more of the stretch ram with the hoist of the loads at one side of the damage can hinge the hinge pins the damage and dump body bend of the truck chassis. Remember, if your load shall be distributed unevenly, dump on the uneven ground, you could find yourself in the great difficulty shade figure 41. 41 shows the hillside dumping hazards. Figure 42 shows the watching, oh, watch for overhead obstructions. When regular rock dumps are not available, the main nest for the large, huge, large, huge large rock, the dump body may be not designed for this purpose. The bed dump truck with the be load line with wooden plank is not with the damage of the bed with the rock is being loaded. The tailgate should be latched again with the bottom of the butt pushed on the top as shown in figure 739. Four hauling asphalt coat the inside of the bed with the diesel fuel. The, um, the fuel prevents the asphalt from sticking to the dump bed to control the rapid heat level for the cover of the hot mix of the tarpaulin. This should be tied down securely to prevent flapping in the wind. No, some states or countries require loose materials hauled by the dump trucks must be covered to prevent slip and spillage on the roadways breaking off of the vehicle. The windshield is um, knowing the rules and regulations of the area you are operating in when the performing doing the operation. Be careful with overhead obstructions from vehicle 742. Ensure the dump bed is completely low, lower before proceeding when backing and using the back guide to avoid backing accidents similar to one shown in vehicle 743. Chapter 8 Forklifts.